London Wildlife Trust is working hard to make London more resilient to extreme weather while supporting the city's biodiversity. The Trust has been working on the River Wandle for over 30 years, on its nature reserves and along the river's edge to enhance and create habitats for wildlife. The Trust is an active partner of the Living Wandle Landscape Partnership Programme, overseeing a range of activities to enhance the heritage and people's enjoyment of the Wandle. The four-year Living Wonder Landscape Partnership project brings together expert organisations and community groups over a series of 28 different projects to conserve, enhance and maintain uh, the special character that makes up the River Wandle and, and the surrounding valley. Whilst at the same time we also want to make sure that uh, local people are engaged and enthused with that special character. We have about 600,000 people who live within 20 minutes walk of the River Wandle, so it's really important to make sure that they're the ones that that sort of makes sure that the wildlife continues to thrive. The Wandle is important for wildlife, a precious chalk stream that is easily damaged by pollution, such as sewage and chemicals in runoff from the roads. Much of London's sewer system is very old. It was built for far fewer people using far less water than we have today. Our sewer systems can't cope with all the extra water going into them. London now uses far more water a year than when the system was built and climate change means we're getting far more winter rain than in the past. In addition, rainwater runs off roads and roofs directly into our rivers, bringing pollutants, heating up the water, and this can also kill off wildlife. As more gardens are replaced with concrete, tarmac and astroturf, less water is absorbed into the ground. Instead, it runs straight into the drains. This means our sewers are often completely full. Many are designed to overflow the contaminated water into our rivers. This means raw sewage is entering our rivers, and rivers like the Wandle are very vulnerable to the impacts from pollution that can kill wildlife and make them unpleasant to people. London Wildlife Trust and the Living Wandle Landscape Partnership are working to prevent this complex problem using simple solutions. Rain gardens, green roofs and depaving projects, also known as sustainable drainage systems, or SUDS. Suds absorb rainwater from our roofs and roads and help restore the natural water cycle, where water soaks into the ground rather than running into the drains. They reduce the pressure on our sewers by slowing down or reducing the amount of water entering the drains. They also have many knock-on benefits. Well, the rain garden is a great addition to um, what we've got here at Dean City Farm. Um, we have a lot of surface water and we're very low lying, so managing drainage and mud and stuff is, has been quite a big deal for us. So I was really interested to hear about the project. And at the time, we had just built some new aviaries with quite a lot of roof. So it, was, it worked out very well because we could take the rainwater off, the, off those roofs, put it into a couple of big tanks, one of which feeds the rain garden and one of which we use to water the rest of our gardens. And the rain garden itself is a, is a specially planted little area. Um, the plants all selected to tolerate a wide range of conditions from dry to wet. So we don't have to do any additional watering. We're not using hose pipes and tap water to water it. It looks after itself. Um, the rainwater comes, tops up the tank, and then overflows down a beautiful little wooden chute into the garden and keeps it growing. It's surprising how much of an impact um, using a, a rain garden planter can have. Several of the projects that I've worked with the London Wildlife Trust on are in uh, housing estates in London. And it brings the opportunity to have greenery all year round, where before there was just paving and bricks. The way we build them, they're at a height that's accessible to all. Um, and there's nothing quite like seeing spring flowers blooming when you're surrounded by grey skies and grey balls. So to help you can get involved by creating a rain garden in your own community so or in your own garden even. So they're easy to build for yourself and there's lots of information on our website but if you are really involved or you don't have a garden you can get your commu a community group together to help build these things in a community space like a concreted over courtyard or in a community garden.